hello welcome back to my channel in this video we'll discuss about the type of hybridization of sulfur and oxygen atoms in sulfuric acid h2so4 sulfur is present in the middle and four oxygen atoms are written on four different sides as shown on the screen each oxygen has two lone pairs that you know let us find the type of hybridization of these four oxygen atoms and sulfur atom present in the molecule let us apply the trick first according to the trick the type of hybridization of sulfur is sp3 how you see in case of sulfur there are four sigma bonds 1 2 3 4 here the pi bonds are not taken in the trick pi bonds are not due to hybridization you see these pi bonds are not due to hybridization so this sulfur has 1 2 3 4 sigma bonds sulfur has four sigma bonds let us take four from four s will take one then p will take three four minus one three one plus three is equal to four sp3 or you can say sp3 so sulfur is sp3 hybridized for this oxygen there are two sigma bonds two sigma bonds one two it has two sigma bonds and two lone pairs so for this oxygen you will find two sigma bonds and two lone pairs total four pairs out of four s will take one the rest three four minus one three will be taken by p so the type of hybridization of this oxygen is sp3 similarly for this oxygen the type of hybridization will be sp3 so these two oxygen atoms are sp3 hybridized these two oxygen atoms are sp3 hybridized you see this is sp3 hybridized this is sp3 hybridized now we have to think about this oxygen and this oxygen whether these two oxygen atoms are hybridized or not that we have to find these are terminal oxygen atoms as these are terminal oxygen atoms these two oxygen atoms are not hybridized not hybridized these two oxygen atoms are not hybridized but see how these two oxygen atoms form bond with this sulfur there are two bonds one of them is a sigma bond and another one is a pi bond you see this is a pi bond and this is a sigma bond how these sigma bonds are formed and how these pi bonds are formed we have to discuss you know the sulfur is sp3 hybridized and this oxygen has is to 2s2 2px2 2py1 2pz1 it has two half filled p orbitals write the box below 3s 3p and 3d you know 3s has one orbital so one box is written for p it is 3 and for d it is 5 so number of electrons in 3s will be 2 
in case of each p one electron will be filled then two electrons and d orbitals are vacant. This is sulfur in ground state. When four oxygen atoms will approach to form bond with this sulfur or you can say this sulfur in the middle, this sulfur in the middle, sulfur will be in excited state, sulfur will be in excited state. You see this S electron will jump to this 3 D and this P electron will jump to this 3 D. So, sulfur in excited state will be like this. See this sulfur is in the middle, two oxygen atoms are at the on the screen as shown and another two oxygen atoms are shown. These are H atoms. I told you this is sp 3 hybridized, this is also sp 3, sp 3. How this sigma bond is formed between this sulfur and this oxygen? You see this is a sp 3 sp 3 sigma bond this is also sp 3 sp 3 sigma bond this sp 3 and this sp 3 is from this s here there are four sp 3 hybridals out of four two sp 3 hybridals are used to form two sigma bonds with sp 3 hybrid orbitals of these two oxygen atoms. Another two sp 3 will form sigma bond above and below as shown on the screen. This sigma bond is sp 3 p y sp 3 from sulfur p y from oxygen and this sigma bond is due to sp 3 p y sp 3 p y you know this is the p y of oxygen and this is the sp 3 this p y and this is the sp 3 of sulfur atom. You see another two pi bonds are there. Pi bond cannot be formed due to hybrid orbitals. Pure orbitals can form pi bond. You see in case of sulfur there are in case of sulfur you will find 2 d orbitals which are not hybridized. In case of p, p z is there unhybridized, this is unhybridized, this p z is unhybridized. Then what happens? 1 d of sulfur will form a pi bond with p z of oxygen. So, this pi bond is due to d of s d of s sulfur and p z of oxygen. Similarly, this pi bond is due to d of sulfur atom and p z of oxygen atom. Now, it is clear to you that which oxygen atoms are hybridized and which oxygen atoms are not hybridized. Let us 
recapitulate. You see this sulfur is in the middle. It is sp3 hybridized. Each oxygen has two lone pairs. This oxygen is sp3. This oxygen is sp3. This is not hybridized. This is not hybridized. This sigma bond is sp3. Sp3 sigma bond. This is also sp3 sp3. For your information, this sp3 is from this sulfur atom. You know sulfur has 4 sp3 orbitals out of 2 sp3 are used to form 2 sigma bonds with sp3 orbitals of these 2 oxygen atoms. Another 2 sp3 because it has 4 sp3 orbitals another 2 sp3 hybridators form 2 sigma bonds with these 2 oxygen atoms this oxygen and this oxygen and the sigma bond is sp3 py type this is also sp3 py type this sp3 is from sulfur and this py is from sulfur this sp3 is from sulfur and this py is from oxygen now we'll discuss about this pi bond these two pi bonds are not due to hybrid orbitals this pi bond these pi bonds are due to pure p and d orbitals d orbital of sulfur and pz of oxygen form a pi bond here also d orbital on average d orbital of sulfur and on hybridized pz of oxygen pz of oxygen form a pi bond thank you for watching the video till the end